Welcome to Bad Food Blog and what we have here today, look at this! It's a Saturday night, it's quite late, it's past seven, so I unfortunately have had to resort to doing, you know, pizzas. Also because I've had two drinks, so ooh, this video is going to get a little crazy probably. First up, we have vegan mini pizzas from Chicago Town. So these are the Chicago Town little tiny pizzas, right? And these cook in 22 minutes in the oven, which is 12 minutes for this one. So these have to go in 10 minutes before. And what's interesting is made with our signature sauce. These are two cheeseburger pizzas, but they're fully loaded vegan. They are vegan. So Chicago Town. Hmm. The last pizzas I did were Goodfellas, which is slightly different to these. My God, I'm eating these like nine months before they go off. Oh. Oh, seven months. Wow, that's a... Yet again, the picture looks nothing like reality, does it? Nope. The picture has twice the amount of fake meat and twice the amount of peppers. Also red peppers. I only see orange and green here. Oh, no, no, there's one red just there. No, that's orange. Hmm. Color saturation on this picture is misleading. Definitely. Let's have a look at the short pizza. I mean that because it's going to take a shorter time to cook. Wow. <laughs> I really hope this pizza dough is going to rise because it looks nothing like the picture. There's more, there's more pepperoni on this slice than there is on half this pizza. Uh -huh. <laughs> Always the same with these things. Right. So this one, not on a piece of cardboard. These bad boys, we know how they cook. Right, so I'm gonna turn the oven on, then I'm gonna put these in, then 10 minutes later, I'm gonna put this in. Okie dokie. So it occurs to me that I didn't read the back of the box. From frozen, 190 degrees, 22 minutes, uh, three minutes microwave cooking time. We are not gonna be cooking these in the microwave because I wanna actually eat them. Remove all packaging, place directly in the middle of the shelf. Why do they want me to keep putting these pizzas on the, Oh, all that does is fill the bottom of my oven with crap. Fan assisted oven, 20 to 23 minutes. Convection oven, 22 to 26. Gas oven, 22 to 26. Gas oven. God, you should be poisoning yourself according to the news. Nutritional information, it's bad for you. Uh, allergens, look. Wheat, 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 barley. Barley. Nah. Easy enough. This one doesn't say, oh, not suitable for dairy allergen sufferers due to manufacturing process suitable for vegans. Hold on. <laughs> vegans can't have dairy either. So either this is vegan or it's not. This is another maybe vegan pizza, isn't it? I've already done one of these this week. Look, guys, you can't say vegan and then say may contain dairy. That just doesn't make any sense. Honestly. Next box. Nothing offensive about this. I quite like the graphics and styling. At least it's not, Chicago Town at least is not trying to be a gangster brand. Uh, oh, look at this. It's even telling me, cook directly on the oven shelf. Like, I don't want the bottom of my oven filled with crap. I'm never gonna do this. 200 degrees centigrade. So we have a temperature differential as well. Okay, so everything gets cooked at 190 and you just stay in the oven for a minute longer. Uh, allergens. Uh, allergens are in bold. Mozzarella cheese. See, this one's less problematic in terms of allergens. <sighs> Leave pizza to stand for two minutes. Caution, will be extremely hot. Oh, it's come out of an oven. Imagine it being hot. Honestly. Alexa, start timer, 10 minutes. Alex is starting the timer. That's going in the top of the oven. And there we go. Okay, the first one's been in for 10 minutes. Now the second one's going. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Vegan cheese doesn't melt. We had discovered this in the last video, but this is more proof. Bottom pizza is gonna look better than the top ones in 10 minutes. What's well, 12 minutes? Alexa, start timer, 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, do any of you have Alexa? If so, play Old Town Road. Alexa, play Old Town Road. 
Soul Turn Road Remix by Lil Nas X, featuring Billy Ray Cyrus, Young Thug, Mason Ramsey on Amazon Music. Enjoy. It's ready. Here, first of all, the pepperoni pizza with melted cheese, brown cheese, tiger crust, which is, I think, achieved by some sort of milk on the crust. Looks quite nice, though. That's a really good-looking pizza. And then, the cheeseburger pizzas. The vegan cheese has appeared to have melted a little bit, has not gone brown, but this has had twice the time nearly what the other pizza had. Pretty amazing, really. So let's see what we get. I'm gonna turn out the first pizza and steal a slice because I'm evil and I can't very well serve that pizza up entirely to my assistant without first trying it. <whistles> assistant, your pizza's ready. Wow. I'm taking a really tiny slice of your pizza. Just to see what it tastes like, okay, assistant? Okay. You're, you're not the assistant. You need to take one of the other pizzas. Get yourself a plate, Max, and I'll serve it to you. And then you have to also take the assistant's pizza to her, okay? What? Yeah, two plates. Now, mummy needs a big plate. I'm getting two plates for us. Right. Oh, Mummy's plate has to be one with a ridge on the bottom because she doesn't like the ridgeless plates. This plate. Yeah, because a ridgeless plate can can just slip off everything like it did once. Yeah, because she's watching television and she's sat in front of the TV and the plates with no ridges on the bottom just slide off her lap. There we go. Now you take that. Take do, that. Do we have any cold plates? Take that drinks? to Mummy's. Now. I'm gonna try that pizza. Let's see what it tastes like, shall we? Looks fairly good, although I've got to say, like that's two, that's literally three pieces of pepperoni, it's so small. Oh, is that nice. That's actually a really good pizza. The bottom is very crunchy. Mmm. The top, I would prefer the pepperoni to be cooked a little bit more, but if you cook this any longer, this would have burnt. Mmm. Mmm. Truly, the best part about this pizza is the pepperoni and the sauce. Really nice. Mmm. Okay. Now for the vegan cheeseburger pizzas. I'll be taking mine. There you are, you can take yours. I'm gonna put mine on here. Drink oh yeah, get the drink out. The fridge. I'm just gonna cut this in half to show everybody what it looks like. You really don't normally cut these pizzas up. You sort of eat them as they are. Oh, this is the pizza. Ah, uh, sorry. This is the drink. <laughs> Tropical Vibes, Sour Cherry. Yeah, I had the blue, no, that's mine. No! Oh, wow. All right, God, <laughs> you know that those, um, <laughs> you know those Haribo <laughs> Sour Sweets? That yeah, drink exactly tastes like exactly that. like that. I love them. That's really weird. Okay, cool. Check this out. Looks good. Remember, this is a vegan cheeseburger pizza. The vegan cheese has actually melted, but hasn't gone brown. Well, whoever's doing this needs to work on that and put some more sugar in it. Mmm. This tastes nice, but my spit's gonna be red. That's actually really good. A little bit more, I wouldn't say sugar, because the pizza's sweet enough. If you put some more starch in it, starch would also caramelize the same way sugar does. Like, for example, the starch in this onion has. And we'll give you the effect of a browning pizza. Mmm. This is really nice, by the way. 
It really does taste like a cheeseburger. Mmm. Good Chicago town pizza. I'm definitely going to get this again. It's already cold. So, yes. For vegans, 10 out of 10. As good as any Chicago town pizza. This one, 7 or 8 out of 10. The best part about it was the sauce. Not as much as you, that, that's everything that's on the pizza. Not as much as you see here. And this didn't expand as much as that. I but, it already. But very, very good. Really enjoying this. Right. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. If you like what we do here, please like the video. And if you love what we do here, please, please subscribe. Bye. Bye.